Hi, everyone. It's Phil Clissa with the Wisconsin Board for People with Developmental Disabilities. And you're not watching the Self-Determination Channel, but we are gonna be talking about Self-Determination Channel, uh, YouTube channel on Facebook Live today with a, uh, instead of Living Well Wednesday, which um, we've sort of taken over for the day. So um, I'd like to introduce you to our hosts of the channel and have them introduce themselves and say, tell a little bit about who they are. So Ashley, do you wanna start us off? Hi, I'm Ashley Matthew. I'm a self-advocate. Cindy? Hi, I'm Cindy Bentley. I'm the um, executive director of people, of people First of Wisconsin and advocate. Great. And Stacy? My name is Stacy. My name is Stacy. I live in Oshkosh. Wisconsin. I'm one of the hosts on the channel, and I also monitor and reply to the comments on the videos. Thank you, Stacy. Philip. And I'm Philip Tommy, and I live in Madison, Wisconsin, and. I am one of the hosts of the YouTube channel. Great, great. And someone that you may not recognize because she's usually behind the camera and behind the scenes, um, meet Susan Borey. Hi, I'm Susan and um, I'm coming from Milwaukee and I'm a uh, video storyteller and I collaborate with the hosts and other self-advocates to uh, produce the videos that you see on the Self-Determination channel. Great. Uh, we're going to pause for just a second so we can let people into the uh, Zoom meeting. Hello. Hi, Linda. Hi, Phil. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Linda. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. You look we're, nice today. Thank you. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna mute folks so that we can um, continue. If you're at, uh, if you're joining us on Facebook, um, you can make comments in the um, comment section. And if you've um, seen any of our videos on the Self-Determination channel, please give us a thumbs up and um, let us know um, how you like those uh, videos so far. Um, for the folks that are watching through Zoom, you can um, put your questions or comments in the uh, chat box below. So, great. So uh, we're also gonna post the link to the self-determination channel. And so if you have not yet gone to that um, channel, please uh, visit it and uh, watch uh, any number of vi uh, videos that we have already posted. So um, Cindy, uh, can you start us off today and tell, uh, tell everyone why uh, we started the YouTube channel? Yes, we started the YouTube channel because we wanted, we 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 wanted to uh, have a voice, but we want other self advocates also to have a voice, and to put out videos that would be education, educational um, for people. Thank you. Great. And while we're uh, talking today. If anybody that's watching has any ideas for future topics for our YouTube channel, um, please put them in the chat and we'll uh, take those under consideration. We always like to have new ideas of things that we can post and share with, um, with others. So um, Stacy, um, can you tell us a little bit about um, the videos that you have been creating for the YouTube channel? One of the things I do on the channel is a vlog about things happening in my life. I think we have four on there right now. One is an introduction vlog kind of explaining my story. 
There's one about my daily routine. I explain how I hire and schedule my caregiver someone. And there's one about challenges during the pandemic. The next one will go up next month. That one is going to be about my experience becoming an aunt. Of course, I'm biased, but I think that one is going to be pretty cute. So stay tuned for that. That is great. We all look forward to stewing with Stacy. So Philip, can you tell us a little bit about one of our newest series? Yes. Um, the, in the spotlight series is one that I'll be hosting. It's a um, interview um, series where I talk with other um, self advocates about issues or, or things that are important to them. And I just did one where I interviewed Stin about her book and I hope it's posted soon. Yeah, that's a little teaser for our next upcoming video that'll be coming out. It's about Cindy Bentley and um, a book written about Cindy Bentley. So stay tuned for that one. It'll be coming out next week sometime. Yay! Out in in time for uh, Black History Month, so or yay. Mm -hmm. That's great. That is awesome. So um, you have all done such a great job um, hosting. I know how hard that is. Just trying to um, work with the technology today. We're all we all seem to have a little bit of some technology glitches. So <laughs> hopefully this is all going smoothly. I am not able to see the Facebook live posts. Um, so I hope this is all going well. Um, and, and I think that, um, you know, it, it's one thing just to, to get on camera, but to really prepare the stories. I think you've all done an amazing job in getting the stories ready for prime time. So um, what, um, what made you, you know, what made you decide that you were interested in being a host and doing this project? Um, so Philip, do you want to start us off and talk a little bit about that? Yes. I think of um, my stuff as a role, a role model and I like to share stories um, and I want to get other people to share their stories in order to have an impact on the community. Def you definitely are a role model. And um, and last year, one of last year's recipients for the Die Hard Award. So again, congratulations on that as well. So Ashley, speaking of diehards um, and hosts, that, that fits you as well. Do you want to talk a little bit about um, why you wanted to be part of this project? Sure. Oh, you're on mute. Let's see if we can unmute you. Okay, so basically um, I want to be part of this project to kind of just motivate um, people that anybody can live a self-determined life. So, and that it really is, I love how in the self-determination channel, it says 
it's your journey. So we can fail, we can take risks, we can, and we can all do things regardless of our barriers. So we just want people to know that disability does not define us, that we are human beings and that we can do anything we put our mind to. That's great. And you certainly motivate and encourage um, in everything that you do. And, and the channel is just one example of, of how you spread uh, very positive messages to everyone. And sometimes um, people really need that when, when they're struggling a little bit to just hear a little bit of encouragement and um, be motivated to uh, carry on. So uh, Stacy, how about you? What do you? Why did you wanna do this project? I became involved with this because I thought it was a real me idea. It was a new means of advocacy to get involved with. How about you, Cindy? Uh, yes, I got involved with the YouTube channel because not only did I have a voice, but other people will have a voice, but also it, um, it seemed interesting to me when I it seemed very interesting to me and about Abbas, being advocacy, my right up my alley, uh, being a director of an organization, um, like Ashley said, we can be anything we want to be. So, and I met some amazing for you people. I met you and Philip mm -hmm. and Ashley. And it's just been wonderful friendship. We friendship that it is. And Susan also. So, and I learned how you to work together with each other. We work, we learned how to work together. So I'm very happy about this channel. Thank you. That's great. <laughs> Stacy, tell us what the best part of being a host is for you. One of my favorite part about doing this is I love showing people what can be possible even when life throws you curves. I love teaching people what is possible. Yeah, that's great. And Susan, I think Susan tells me all the time that your, your posts, um, your videos get so many um, views. I think it's one of the highest um, <laughs> huge videos around right Susan it is it, it's it it receives um the highest views of consistently and also the other thing that uh Stacy's videos do is they they bring in more subscribers because I get uh, a monthly it's called YouTube analytics and YouTube tells us how many subscribers we get and what, what subscribers subscribed after watching a certain video. So yes, um, stewing with Stacy is, um, is a big hit. That's great. And we'll talk about su subscribing in just a little bit as well. So um, Ashley, do you wanna uh, tell us a little bit about um, being a host? So being a host, you kind of just, um, you just, you know, describe each video or whatever, and you should really have an enthusiastic voice so that so that people, it kind of drives people in. You also have to be very focused in what you're saying and what you're doing, because there's usually a script. Um, and just, um, I would say, keep smiling and be enthusiastic. And um, just, um, if you mess up, then just, just, kind of, you know, everything is edited. So just, you know, don't be too hard on yourself and you're gonna do a great job. And I think just motivating people that they're gonna be a great host. And if anybody needs help, I would be more than happy to help them, so. That's great, thank you. And I'm sure people will appreciate you, you and take up that offer. Um, Philip, what's the best part for you of being a host? Uh, I think the, best part of being a host uh, for me is seeing the 
reach or the impact um the channel um 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 like we inspire like other other states to start their own so i'm I'm honored to be part of this platform. Yeah, you bring up a good point, Philip. Um, there's a group in Virginia who, is al who have also started a YouTube channel um, inspired by all of you guys um, to do so. And so um, we have collaborated with them on some things. We've, you know, shown them the ropes, talked about how we did it. Um, and in the future, we're, we may do some um, joint videos together. So stay tuned for that as well. I think that'll be kind of fun to get to meet some other self-advocates in different parts of the country. So maybe, maybe you're watching from some other state and might be interested in starting your own YouTube channel. So, um, Hopefully we can help you uh, with some ideas. Cindy, what about you? What's the, um, what's the best part of being a host for you? I think the best part about being a host, I haven't really been the host, but I was the host for, um, the, for I thought about this overnight. I thought that I learned so much being a host and ho um, for, we did the thing on black history for um, his name was Marquis. And I learned so much about that. And um, I got so many of uh, uh, views about that. And one of view was about from Vince Toronto, which is uh, on Channel 4 News, asked me if I wanted to be a news. I said, no, thank you. Because what I like, what I what I thought about that after he said that is that being a host, I want to be real. I want to tell it like Ashley said, like it is. I want to tell it from my heart. So many times we cover cold things. And and so I don't want to do that. If I'm gonna be a host, I want to make sure that the advocates know that this is real. This is not just a made up something or whatever. Um, this is this is a this is life. So I just want to say I enjoyed this. As a matter of fact, I got so much out of this. And then I got phone calls and was on a, you know, Facebook. You did a great job. Made me feel feel really good. So I think I don't want to be on the news part of it, but I will continue to do the host on self-determination channel, I mean, on the YouTube channel, because it fires me up. So, and as Ashley said, I got a lot of fire in me and she's got a lot of fire in her. So there you go. That's why I want to be, you know, like to be, that's why I want to, wait a minute. I said that wrong, went too fast. I just want to be, I just want to fire up other people when I'm the host and I learned uh, about looking in people's eyes and tell and, and, and really listening to other, you know, listening to somebody else's story besides this, my story. And the other thing about that is when you listen to somebody else's story, you can learn something. I learned so much from Marquise. We play sports together, but I had no idea what he went through. So thank you. Yeah. Well, I know when Cindy Bentley is fired up, we all get fired up too. So she's good at doing that. Um, <laughs> so, you know, we started this video in 2019, this uh, YouTube channel in 2019, and um, we launched it at the Self Determination Conference. And, um, and then uh, 2020 hit, and we all kind of know what happened there. Yeah. Um, so we really <laughs> had to kind of um, do things a little differently than we typically um, would think about doing some of these uh, YouTube videos. So um, Susan, do you, do you want to talk a little bit about um, 
you know, uh, what it what it takes to make a video and also, you know, how we've been doing it during the um, pandemic times. Sure, sure. Um, I'll start by saying before the pandemic, what was happening is I was actually going around um, Wisconsin and uh, videotaping people and telling their stories where they lived. So I'm in, I'm here in Milwaukee, but you know, I was going out to Waukesha and, and Madison, I, Platteville. I went up to Oshkosh a number of times to videotape Stacy. I know I was in Sturgeon Bay with Marie Masser, Massert, I believe her name, um, last name. Um, so anyway, um, I was traveling around and what I would do is um, before I actually went and met with somebody, I would have had a phone conversation ahead of time and had a general idea about their story. And then when I would get there, you know, I would set up my camera someplace and uh, either sometimes we went out in the community, like in a park or in their apartment, and I would interview them. And then um, we would go around and take um, video of the things they talked about. So for instance, when I went up to Stacy's apartment, um, one of the episodes was about technology. So after Stacy told me about the different types of technology that she uses in her apartment, we went around her apartment and I actually showed her using those technologies. And then I would come back and edit it together. And that's how I did you know, all the videos when I was traveling around. After the pandemic, you know, we thought, uh oh, that this is the end of this. But, you know, what we found is that we just found a new way to tell stories. And in a way, the pandemic opened up the whole state of Wisconsin in the, in the sense that um, now through Zoom and by recording on Zoom, I can talk to anybody all over the state. And uh, because, you know, I, I um, and so it just has really given uh, in, in uh, just a different way of telling stories. So how we do it now is um, uh, sometimes we, uh, uh, you, there's always a script or a script outline. And I review that with the hosts ahead of time. And uh, they look it over, they can, they change things, they put things in their own words. We set up a, a time when we can meet on Zoom and then we, you know, record the script or as Philip was talking about, we have this new series called In the Spotlight. And what I do is I sit back and uh, for instance, the last In the Spotlight, Philip was interviewing Cindy and the two of them were on Zoom together and Philip was interviewing Cindy Cindy, you know, was answering his questions. They were having a conversation. And then I take that video and then I add pictures to it in order to, you know, help tell the story. So when Cindy was talking about uh, Special Olympics, I'll be adding pictures of her um, uh, in Special Olympics. Now for stewing with Stacy, Stacy actually records herself. Stacy records herself she writes her own script. She records herself saying the script. And then she provides me with pictures and videos that go along with that, with that script. So I think she mentioned to you, she's gonna be having a, a, a video come up where she's gonna be talking about her nephew, her new nephew. I think his name is Charlie. I, I hope I got that right. Okay, and um, so uh, she's gonna be talking about the impact that Charlie has had on her life and, and the impact that she hopes to have on Charlie's life. And she's also sent me pictures and videos of Charlie, of her and Charlie, of Charlie and, and uh, his mother. So then I put that together in a story format. Um, and yeah. Oh, so I was just going to say, you know, um, a lot of people have been interested in getting involved in the YouTube channel. Um, we um, have um, have had guest hosts um, periodically and we'll continue to have more guest hosts. Um, but can you talk a little bit about um, this idea that we have about some roving reporters and um, and, you know, how people can get involved and do some recording 
um, remotely? Sure. So one thing we are looking for are, are people who live in different parts of Wisconsin who can um, help us tell stories. So um, we're looking for people who might be interested in being, as Phil said, a roving reporter where they might go out into the community. You know, this is once, you know, we're, we're able to, once the COVID restrictions are out, where they might be able to go out into the community and do some videotaping themselves and, and maybe interviewing um, another self-advocate themselves um, or taking um, video of interesting things that are happening in the community. Maybe there's an event that, that you're going to that you'd like to share with other self-advocates. And then that footage, as we call it, those, that video would be set to me, and then I could edit it into a, um, into a story. So we're looking for people who are interested in recording. It can be you know, on your smartphone. Um, it, it could be on a camera if you have a camera, but smartphones are fine. And with a few um, video tips that I can provide, uh, I think we're going to provide some later too. Yes, I can work with you. Um, and um, yeah, so, th so that's what we're looking for. We're calling them roving reporters. Um, and um, yeah. Yeah. So Ashley, you want to talk a little bit about um, talking about and sharing your story? For I think others? that you Oh, sorry. Um, I think you just, um, I think you just um, um, tell it the way it is. So you just speak your mind. And hopefully, if, if someone looks at you with, I need to be cut off, then you just kind of end it short. But I mean, it's all about so you can't mess it up. It's your story. And um, just um, speak from your heart. And if you, you know, the best way to just speak your, speak your mind and speak with your heart. And then, you know, you're going to have encourage other people to do the same and just keep helping people and keep encouraging people. And um, you're going to go very far. That's all I can say. Yeah, that that's so true. And, you know, it's, um, you know, we're unlike this um, piece that we're doing on Facebook Live, you know, these are all recorded and Susan does an amazing job of editing, and um, I, I always uh, joke that we should have a bloopers segment with all of our bloopers in it when we've had to stop and re-record something. So um, maybe that'll be coming out sometime uh, next year too. <laughs> um, but talking about tips, um, I thought we maybe you guys would like to share some of the tips that you have um, learned while you're um, doing these videos. So. Cindy, do you want to talk about what your tip is for folks? Yeah, my, tip is, my tip is when you are talking, uh, please do not chew gum or have food in your mouth uh, because it might accidentally fall out of the gum. Or, so that's my tip. That's a good tip. Thank you. Stacy, how about you? Do you have a tip for us today? When you're recording the video, one of the most important things to remember is that it has to be completely quiet. The microphone will pick up the quietest noise. Of course, obvious things like the television or loud music will disrupt the video. But even a fan blowing or people whispering in the background will be heard on the video. It has to be completely silent when you're recording. Because of the pandemic, I've been actually recording the vlogs I do myself using my webcam on my computer and I have to have it completely quiet. More than once, I've had to start over because my neighbor was slamming cupboards or making something in the blender. It was really loud on the video. It's just something you have to be aware of when recording. Yeah, and I'm um, I'm trying to sit very still because I have a very creaky chair. So I'm trying not to move it around, which is really hard for me to do right now. Um, so Philip, you want to, uh, did, uh, how about a tip from you? Um, 
might keep his um make sure you have good lighting. I know that I'm I've been guilty about filming in front of a window and stuff like that. Um, but that's when you can, can get a glare in the video and it's good to make sure that you have good lighting. Great tip. That is a great tip, Philip. And I just wanted to add, I know, you know, you Philip mentioned about shooting in front of a window and, and, and he's right. If there were a window behind me, it it's so bright that um, I become in the sh I become sh very shadowed because it's so bright in the background. Now, if I turned around and face the window, then the light, you know, shines on my face and it looks really nice. So like Philip said, you don't want your back to the window, but if you turn around and face the window, then it be, then it's a great light source. So thanks, Philip. Thank great you. tips. Actually, I have a tip before we go on. Um, one of the things that Susan taught me is if you are going to be recording on your phone, on a smartphone, to instead of holding the camera and your phone vertically, to hold it horizontally. And that way you get a better picture. See, I've got a picture within a picture. If I hold it this way, you see just a tiny little picture. So it's good to record um, horizontally so you get a better full picture on your screen. That's a great tip, um, Phil. And I'll just add, you know, when you're watching um, your TV screen, you know, you'll notice that the picture is, you know, more long than it is high, right? So when you record like this, it, it's, it's, it's different. So, you know, we like to record like we watch it on a TV screen. Yeah, great. So we've talked a lot about, you know, how we make the videos and, and um, being hosts on the channel. Um, let's talk a little bit about subscribing to the channel. So um, if you um, are here on either on the Zoom call or um, on Facebook Live, if you have subscribed to the channel, can you give us a thumbs up or, um, you know, make a comment? We'd love to know how many people have actually subscribed. But we are going to show you a little video on how to subscribe if you um, if you haven't subscribed yet and want to know how to do that. So Jeremy is going to um, put that video up um, and we can watch a little bit of that. So we'll probably see that in a minute. It's great to see all those. Um, those thumbs up. Jeremy, are we able? Here we go. Here's how to find the self-determination channel on YouTube. Go to youtube.com. Search for self-determination channel. Look for the self-determination icon. Click on the icon and you're there. If you want to know when we post a new video, click subscribe. If you click the bell icon, you will be notified when we post a video. That's all there is to it. Thanks for subscribing. That's great. And um, I, I'm glad to see all the thumbs up um, here. And I hope that you decide to subscribe. It made me uh, kind of giggle a little bit when I saw that video because do you guys all remember when we did, we shot our first video? 
Yeah, it was a very hot summer day. I was going to say, it's probably like 105 degrees out, and we were really hot. Don't you we wish totally we were. had that weather again? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I yes, would love do. that right now. <laughs> Good thing well, we wore shorts that day. We would have really been in trouble. We drink lots food. of water, too, right? Yeah. And Gatorade, yep. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about some of the videos that we have made. Um, Philip, what's been your favorite video so far? My favorite um, is the one I hosted with William. The, um, I think it was called like don't count me out or something like that. Is that what it was called? I believe so, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, I... And the reason that I liked it is because I, like I said, I think of myself as a Rome model and it's nice to see like high school stuff advocates like being a part of the ch ch channel yeah, yeah. I, I think we have a little bit of that clip um jeremy do you want to cue that one up William and his sister Evelyn made this video to show how William lives like any other team. Take a look. My name is William. I'm 17 years old. I like to eat play basketball, video games, and go outside and ride my bike. But does not make you less of a teenager for having a disability. It is more stressful when people treat you like a baby because I feel like you can do things on your own and be yourself and not have everybody watching you and helping you and telling you what to do all the time. What I learned last year is Time management is important. Yeah, that's just a little bit of that video. So if you are interested in seeing the full video, go to the YouTube channel and uh, click on it. Cindy, what was your favorite video so far? Uh, my favorite video was the one I just did on Marquise. It was so, so I keep going back and watching. I watched it. I counted it last night how many times I've watched it. 15 times <laughs> since it came out. That's great. We're going to show a little bit of that one. And again, I think we're going to put the links up um, to all of these videos that you can go Being in here today. Thanks for asking to interview me. I really admire you and I'm inspired by you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. The first question I'm going to ask you today is, what do you want people to know about you as a person of color and a person with a disability? I'm very proud to be an Afro-American male. You know, sometimes I hate that people like me or you have to go through hardship just because of our color. Like people will look at our color before they even get to know it. Amen. So, you know, I basically as a person of color living with a disability, I'm just feel like I'm just a human being that realized that I have to be part of this world with all people of all races and all abilities and disabilities or, you know, all, you know, all whatever sexual preferences. And, you know, I just want to be a human being that just live in the world and, you know, just live in peace and harmony like everyone else. Yeah, 
That's a great video and a timely message too. So Ashley, how about you? So my favorite one is don't blame it on your disability. So that was me and Cindy did that one. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see that. You're such a great ambassador. Thank you. Yeah, she is, she's the best. We are going to share some tips for success. Tip number one. Don't blame problems on disability. The way that I look at it as is don't blame problems on disabilities. I mean, I try to explain my disability and say this is why I'm acting this way. But if you keep going on and on and then keep blaming it, people are going to get frustrated. And they're going to say, well, well, is that, all, is that your excuse for everything? And people are people. So don't say, oh, this is because of my autism or this is because of this or this is because of that. Because, you know, if you want to be treated like a person that you shouldn't make excuses for your disability. Tip number two. No one is successful without hard work. It's a journey with obstacles. Yeah. Great messages and great tips in that one. And I remember when we did that one at Susan's op Susan has a cool office where uh, it's in Waukesha, I think. And uh, it was cool because uh, she it had a like a pool table. Or, well, it was really a cool office. That's so, great. I remember when we did that. My God, that's I don't remember. Last year, maybe 2020 or hmm. yeah, that, well, that might have been 2019. 2019, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah, Stacy, how about you? What's your favorite video that you've done so far? Well, the videos I do, but one of my favorites was the video on the technology I use. It was one of the very first videos we did. It shows some of the things I use to live a self-determined life. Actually, I have another piece of equipment I recently got that really helps me. Once it's safe to record in person again, I'm excited to do a video on that. But that first video shows some of the cool equipment I use that helps me live independently. Great, let's see. Let's see a little bit of it. <laughs> yep. Jeremy, do we have a little bit of, of the technology? Here we go. Sorry. <laughs> Today's episode, we're in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, where I live independently in my own apartment. Thanks to assistive technology, I'm able to live by myself. I use lots of cool technology to help me. I'd like to show you some of the technology I use to help me lead a self-determined life. The first one is pretty unique. I have a communication app on my phone that speaks out loud. That's how I'm speaking to you today. I've pre-programmed what I want to say. I can also type up things if I'm having a conversation with someone. I'm so excited to see that. When I present to large groups, I connect a Bluetooth speaker to my phone to make it louder. Many people are surprised that I'm even able to use a cell phone because my disability impacts my fine motor skills. But, fortunately, I have a pretty good double jointed <laughs> thumb, which allows me to be able to use it. Well, thumbs up, Stacy. Yeah, uh, thumbs up, buddy. Thumbs up. Susan, do you have a, a favorite video? I don't know if we have a clip of it, but do you have any favorites? You know, I don't. I. It's like the last video I made is always my favorite. So I, I guess what I mean by that is, you know, each one it's like, oh, this is so cool. And then the next one comes out. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> so really, um, I, I've, I've enjoyed them all and, and I don't, I can't choose one. Yeah. And we enjoyed you helping us make them too. Yeah. We appreciate you. 
So you, you kind of stole my line. I think the next video, my favorite oh, video is the next one that we're going to do. <laughs> so what? that's great. So, um, you know, if you if you have a favorite video, um, put it in the chat or share it on um, on the Facebook live post. And, um, you know, we'd love to hear about that. I have been reading some of the chats and people have been coming up with some great ideas for new videos. Um, somebody said, you know, having a video about being more independent and living on your own. That was something that Thumbs they wanted. up, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was um, Marshfield yeah. that said that. And yeah. Emily um, talked about smart goals and, um, you know, having a video about where to find things in your community um, and, you know, why goals are important um, for you. So those are great, great ideas. Let's see if I can see any other ones. Um, anybody else have any questions or um, thoughts about, um, some videos. Yeah, Vicki said, um, talked, Ashley and, and Cindy talked about COVID-19. We, we do have um, a video in the queue um, on COVID. So that will be coming up, um, I think, in the month of March. So that would be good. Um, you know, I just just want to mention about COVID. There are a number of videos on the on the channel now on COVID. So be sure and check those out. Yeah, that is true, and they're they're really really good. So we'll we'll, we'll tr we try to keep up with um, you know hot topics, things that um, people are really interested in in the moment, um, and also you know taking uh, advantage of opportunities of events and things that are happening um, around. And um, you know, speaking of events, that reminds me that we have a great video on um, Disability Advocacy Day, when we were able to get together. Um, that's a good one to watch. Um, Disability Advocacy Day this year is March 23rd, and it is going to be a virtual one. So, but we hope people will participate in that. Um, so yeah, please um, feel free to um, add your comments here or, or contact uh, one of the hosts or myself and, um, you know, pitch your idea for um, a video. Um, any other thoughts before we sign off today? Do we, anybody want to share, um, share anything? F Phil, um, you might mention our upcoming Zoom recording. Oh, Susan, yes, I'm glad you mentioned that. <laughs> um, you know, um, one one of the things that's um, that Susan mentioned earlier, one of the ways that we get some of the uh, footage for some of the videos, if you remember the Thanksgiving one, or we did one on relationships last year for Valentine's Day, is that we um, we hop on a Zoom call just like we are today, and we ask people questions and they answer the questions, and so we are doing another one of those um, videos and we'd like to invite you all to join us on March 25th um, at 4 p.m. Um, Susan, do you wanna uh, talk a little bit more about that? Sure, sure. What, so what we do is we, we, we ask a question or two or three or four and we have people answer the question and the question is something about how how they live a self-determined life or what their opinion on on something is and then we just um everybody answers the questions they tell us their name they tell us where they're from and they answer the question and then when you actually watch it on um the youtube channel you see the person on one half of the screen and on the other half of the screen is a map of Wisconsin, and it shows where they are coming from. And it's a way for people from all over Wisconsin, for all you self-advocates to, you know, speak up and, you know, let your voice be heard about um, an issue or a problem or a situation. So, you know, we invite you to come and, um, you know, um, and, and, and let your voice be heard. It's one way of doing it. Yeah. And, yeah. It, and it features a lot of a lot of people in one video. So, you know, we can get up to 15, 20 self-advocates in one video. And that's great. Yeah. 
Yeah, and we'll um, send out a notice on social media as well um, okay. with uh, um, if you're interested in participating on that, and then we can <clears throat> send the link. So um, stay tuned for that. Um, and anybody else want to say anything before we end? Ashley? Just keep motivating each other and encouraging each other and um, just 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 keep um trying to do your best and that's in that's all you can do in life so great message thank you ashley well and thank you all for joining us today don't forget to subscribe and we hope to see you on the self-determination youtube channel soon thank you and have a great day everyone bye 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 bye, bye. bye, -bye.